Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll show you a simple no-fail royal icing recipe with three different consistencies. In my next tutorial, I'll show you how to use royal icing to make decorations for your cakes and how to decorate sugar cookies. So let's get started. This recipe makes about four cups of icing, enough to decorate about four dozen sugar cookies. You'll need 565 grams of well sifted icing sugar, 20 grams of meringue powder, which is dehydrated egg whites with some vanilla flavoring, half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, and 95 grams of warm water. Store covered in Tupperware, it'll last three weeks at room temperature, two months refrigerated, and up to six months frozen. Repeat every time you use it. Start by adding your meringue powder, cream of tartar, and warm water into your bowl. Whisk this together with a wire whisk for a couple of minutes until foamy. It'll start looking like egg whites. Next, add your sifted icing sugar all at once. You'll need to mix this with a paddle attachment at low speed for about 10 minutes. It's highly recommended to use a stand mixer as it'll be sitting there for quite a while using a handheld mixer. Continue mixing this at low speed for 10 minutes. I just fed up the sparks for sign savings. Royal icing turns opaque white with stiff peaks when it's done. Make sure to cover your bowl with a wool cover or wet cloth when not in use, otherwise it will pass over very quickly. I always add a little bit of corn syrup to my stiff consistency icing to make it a little bit easier to pipe. So I'm just gonna add one teaspoon of corn syrup for half a cup. Use a disposable poking bag over tall glass and fill your icing to the bottom. Squeeze the icing to the bottom of the bag. Twist the bag to secure. You can also use elastic bands or bag ties. Squeeze the icing to the very bottom and make a small cup with the seam. To make a flat consistency icing, I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. I'm adding about two coffee spoons of water to one half cup of stiff consistency icing. You know the icing is ready when it falls into itself in about 10 seconds. This is called the 10 second one. Put the icing in a disposable bag as last time. Squeeze the bag along the seam and cut with a seam in the middle. To color your icing, use gel piece and a toothpick. Never use powder colors, otherwise they'll change the consistency of your icing. Use a clean toothpick every time you add more color. This is going to make a stiff consistency colored icing.
To make a medium consistency icing, also known as a thick flood, first color your icing as before. I'm adding about one coffee spoon of water and I'm mixing very well. You want soft peaks that doesn't easily fall back into itself. As before, Place a disposable bag over a tall glass and add the icing to the bottom. Squeeze the icing all the way to the bottom, cut a small hole along the seam in the middle. Mark M for medium consistency. To make a colored flat icing, we're going to color the same way as before. Then we're going to add a little bit of water to start. Then we're going to add a little more water. So again, I'm adding about two coffee spoons of water to make a flood icing. This is the consistency we're looking for. The icing falls back into itself in about 10 seconds. It's glossy and smooth. Again, wrap a disposal bag over top of the large glass as before and fill the icing to the bottom. Squeeze the icing to the bottom of the bag as much as possible with the seam facing you and in the center cut a tiny hole. Then squeeze out a little bit of icing to test the size of the hole. Remember, always start with a smaller hole so you can always cut a larger one. You don't want too big of a hole because this flood icing will spill out quite quickly. And there you have it. We've done all three types of consistencies. As an ending note, always cover your bowl when not in use. This is what happened when I left my bowl unattended for a couple hours. I tried to revive by adding some warm water and giving it a good mix, but as you can see, there's still little specks of hardened royal icing. So make sure, always cover it with either a bowl cover or a wet cloth. Thank you for joining me today, and we'll see you on my next tutorial.